Alfonsi here. Well, today's mission, if I wish to accept it, is pretty much putting the airlift 1000, all right? Adjustable air springs, I have it kind of compressed right now, into the Equinox. So, hopefully all goes well. All right, one of the first things we're doing, I jacked it up and uh, put a jack stand under it. Let this coil open up as much as I could. Check the top, there's nowhere for a hole for the airline to go through, but there is in the bottom here. So, let me get a shot of that. And uh, with that, uh, these airbags can go either right side up or upside down, whatever you want to call it, with the air valve going up or down. So mine's going to get down on this 2019 Equinox. So, all right, let me move on to the next step. All right, this next one is not an easy one. They want you to try to get this in a hot dog shape. They're trying to force it up in there through the coil. And uh, I haven't finished working on it, but it is a little difficult. So um, we'll uh, see what we can do, see if we can get it in there. Well, it wasn't easy, I can tell you that. It's hard to get up there. I need to cut the wire tie and then uh, let it expand and fit it into position. Let the weight off and see if I need a spacer above or below it that comes with it. I'll take a picture of that later. Okay, we cut the wire tie. It is in there. And... Uh, now we're going to let the jack down and see if it needs a spacer. Okay. They give you these, as you can see in the picture, these spacers. They come in a couple quarter inch and a half inch. Looks like I can use at least a half inch. I might need to add the quarter inch. If so, I'll see if I can get it in the bottom. Okay. As you can see, it's got the half-inch spacer up there. That seemed to be all it needed. Didn't need the other one, so I will move over to the other side and fight putting the other bag in. Yep, on to number two. That's not much of a hot dog style, but that's the way we're gonna try and get her in. And uh, it took more muscle than anything else, and. I don't have a stand for the camera, so I have to put it down and show you the end result. Well, it's in. I got to cut the wire tie again, but uh, that one went pretty easy. Probably because I had it jacked up higher. Got that spring expanded pretty well. I didn't go in from the bottom and up. I went like right through the middle here, got the top part in, and then pushed the bottom part in. So once I cut this wire tie off, it'll give it a chance to expand that uh, that airbag. Put the spacer in first this time, and then I'll let it down. Not that it was hard to put in, I'll just try another method. Okay, time to put the airline on there. They got these little clamps that you can uh, squeeze a little bit and they open up and you can slide it up after this pushes onto the barb that was at the end of the um, bag. Speaking of barbs, Got the one on the Schrader valve. All right, they will push on too, also. So uh, I'm going to try and get the one up under the airbag. So we can get a shot of that. You can even see that puppy. I don't know if it's light enough or dark enough. I can't see the camera. So uh, anyway. I've taken it off of there, so we'll see how it goes. Took the black tip off of there. All right, I jacked it back up 
to get this coil spring to open up so I could get my hand in there because there was a lot of room underneath here for me to see or reach. So I got up and put it in. All right, that means I had to eliminate the spacer at the top, but uh, or at the bottom. Um, I probably could have done a spacer at the bottom, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, I took the time to lift it up, put the spacer in, and then put the line on. Because as I was talking to you before, it hit me that hey, I could do that. So I've got the line on this one here, and I got the little clamp on that comes with it. So I'm going ahead to put the spacer back in the top and uh, let the jack back down. I jacked it up and got me more room. That that helped a lot. So. So I jacked the other side back up so I could get that airline on. And as you can see, it is on here. I think you can see. And uh, with a clamp on it. So I'm going to go ahead and let that down. And then I'm going to go ahead and it seems like I have plenty of airline. So I'll go ahead and find a spot to stay away on these equinoxes. The uh, muffler goes perpendicular to the frame and therefore you got to get pretty far away from it you can't go straight back somewhere but yeah we'll find somewhere to put tie up okay finished up riding as you can see the line goes up and over comes back here comes down into a t right here all right and then the Do a T right here. All right. Then it goes into my Schrader valve that I have hanging straight down off the fascia for the Equinox. So give us a thumbs up if you like. Subscribe if you like. And we'll see you in another video. Thank you.